cell division is responsible for growth and for cell division a cell has to grow through the interface that consists of the G1, S and the G2 phase and finally the cell divides in the M or the mitotic phase. In this discussion we will be focusing on the M phase. Now see these are the growing roots of onion. If you take one such growing root and observe under the microscope, you will see a number of cells. A few cells might look like this, which has doubled in volume. So we can understand that this cell is in the interphase, that is the phase where it gets maximum time for growth and doubling of size. Now there are also cells which have completed the mitotic phase, that is cell division has taken place to form two new daughter cells. Now after interphase, cells should have divided into two daughter cells. But see, that did not happen. This is because there are other stages in between interphase and the final stage when cells divide to form two daughter cells. See? Immediately after interphase, the chromatin fibers which were present in the nucleus, they get compacted to form chromosomes. Also, see, there is the presence of the nucleolus. But in the next stage, see, it is significantly, it has significantly disappeared. See, there is no nucleolus in this cell and also there is no nuclear membrane present in the cell of this stage. So there are other stages between the interphase and the final phase when a cell divides to form two daughter cells. So this phase is known as the prophase. It is the first phase of the mitotic or the M phase. So pro phase where pro means before, let us see what is happening. The chromosomes are getting compacted, the nucleolus disappears, the nuclear membrane starts disappearing as well and the centrosomes start moving to the opposite poles. Now just like the earth is divided horizontally into halves by the equator, all the chromosomes after the prophase aligns itself along the equator. And the spindle fibers produced by the centrosomes try and bind the chromosomes in the equator. This phase is known as the metaphase where meta means adjacent. Now just like a game of tug and war, when two opposing teams pull a piece of rope in opposite directions, similarly, see, spindle fibers given out by centrosomes pull the two identical strands of a chromosome towards the two poles. See, this centrosome would pull this identical strand of the chromosome towards the pole, whereas this centrosome will pull this identical strand of the chromosome towards the opposite pole. Now, because of this opposing force, the strands start moving towards the poles. See, the strands which were previously present on the equator now starts moving towards the poles because of the force applied by the spindle fibers. This phase is known as the anaphase when the two identical strands of the chromosome 
move to the opposite poles so 46 strands move to each pole so both the poles have the same genetic material as the mother cell so after anaphase what happens is the spindle fibers starts to disappear the nucleolus starts to reform the nuclear membrane reforms once again and finally there is formation of chromatin fibers from uncoiling of chromosomes so this phase is known as telophase it is the last phase of the m phase now these all these four phases of the m phase causes the nuclear division that is karyokinesis where karyo means nuclear and kinesis means the division but karyokinesis is not enough for cell division the cytoplasm needs to divide as well so let us see so at the end of telophase what happens is the cytoplasm starts dividing and how does it divide in a plant or in an animal now cytoplasm furrows in the animal cell forming two new daughter cells this process is known as cytokinesis where cyto comes from the word cytoplasm and kinesis means division but in case of plant cells see furrowing of cytoplasm does not take this but there is a cell plate formation which causes the formation of two new daughter cells now the daughter cells have an equal distribution of organelles as well now try and recall that these organelles were formed in the g1 phase so the so the organelles had been duplicated so both the daughter cells have an equal distribution of organelles